Hello and welcome to our series on modeling the caster assembly in AutoCAD. For this video we will model the axle support which is this area right here for our assembly. So it will be this one right here. So far we have modeled the we have modeled the bushing, we have modeled the axle and the base plate. So this time we will model the axle support, which is this one right here. For this project, we will go to a new window of AutoCAD, and we will make sure that we are on our front view. We're going to be drawing this on our front view. We're going to select our rectangle tool. I'm going to draw the base part of the axle support, which is a dimension of 3.25 on the X, and it will be a dimension of 0.375 on the Y. So this will be the base part of the axle support. Now we need to have a point to put the place for the bushing to fit and the axle. So I'm going to go from the midpoint right here and give me a uh, just a distance where the center of those will be, which will be a distance of 2.375. And that will be the point where our concentric circles are going to be. So we're going to go to the circle command, go to the center diameter, select the end of the line, and give it a diameter of 1 inch for the inside. We're going to repeat the command, and we're going to go from the center of this one, and that value will be 1.5. So we have the outside of the axle support, and the inner part of the axle support. Now we need to draw the lines that go from this point to this point right here. So we go line, make sure you go to the temporary command which is shift, right click, and we're going to select the tangent tool. So we click on that one and finalize it at that point. So spacebar to terminate the command, spacebar to call the line command again, shift, right click, tangent, and click on any point on the circle here, it will automatically set it up at the tangent, tangent point and finish the line right here. Spacebar to terminate the command. Now this line right here, we don't need it anymore because we already used it to give us the height of those uh, circles. So we delete it. Now we're going to go over into our southeast isometric so you can see it a little better. And there is our base. All the geometry for the base is right here. So we're going to use this tool called the press pull command right here. We're going to select it. We're going to click on the in, on the bottom part of the axle support, and we're going to give it the length, which will be uh, 1.5. Now we're going to repeat the command, spacebar. Click on this area. We're going to go this way, and now we're going to go 0.5. 375 of 3 eighths of an inch and we're going to repeat the command click on this area same distance 0.375 enter now we're going to rotate this and select this area with the press tool press pull command and we're going to go this way and this distance is going to be 0.125 and enter so now if you notice we have our base support axle base support done in AutoCAD. Now we need to just uh, add our fillets right here and add fillets to this area. So we're going to join this, we're going to union this so it's instead of being three different solids it will be a single solid. So we go to the boolean operation the solid editing called the union. We click on it select everything we want to union and enter. Now if you notice we have a, a one single item right here. So now we can go and move this solid away from our 2D geometry so you can see the difference between them. This is the 2D geometry. Out of this 2D geometry we extracted this solid by using the press pull command. Now we're going to go over to our fillet command right here. So we're going to fill it. We're going to give it a radius R. Enter. 0.5 and now we're going to select the object. We're going to we're going to add a fillet at this point right here. So we go enter, enter. That gives us the fillet. Spacebar to call it back. 
click on that edge, enter, enter. That gives us those fillets for that, those two points. Now we need to get our canner bolts on these surfaces for our base support. To do that, we're going to use the circle command again. We're going to go over to this face, hover over the end to acquire the center point of this arc. We're going to give it a diameter of 0.375. That's for the hole to go through. We're going to repeat the command there. Now we repeat the same size. We're going to do the same thing now. A concentric circle from here. The diameter of that one will be 0.625. And we're going to repeat that command to this one right here. There we go. Now, the neat thing about the press pull tool is that you can actually do a subtract automatically. So we're going to go press pull, which is this tool right here. So click on the inside of this and then go down and that takes it away. So we go again, press pull, click inside of that one, bring it down, and that subtract that mass out of that solid. Now we're going to repeat that to give us our counter bore. So we're going to press pull. There it goes. So you go up, builds. If you go on, on the negative, Z value, it will take away. So the value we need is 0.125, and that will give us our depth of our counter bore. We're going to repeat it on this side. Press pull command. Click inside the bounding area. Positive builds. Negative. Z subtracts. So we go 0.125. And there it is. So we have our counter bores from this area right here. So now we need to add our fillets to this area. Our uh, drawings calls it for a fillet of 0.125. So we're going to go fillet. R for radius, enter, 0.125, enter. So now we're going to select the first line, which will be this one, and we go enter. We're going to select the chain command. We're going to select another, another edge, and then we go enter. And that gives us our fillet. We're going to repeat that one, and we're going to go on this one right here, enter. We go chain. Enter, and we're going to select another line that will do that. So we're going to go to this one, and then enter. That gives us those fillets. Now we're going to add this fillet right here. So we're going to go again, fill it, and we're going to go zoom into this point right here. We're going to go there, enter, and we're going to go chain, enter, and we click on this line, and go enter. That gives us those fillets. So those fillets might look a little large for you. You can reduce the size of that. I would probably reduce the size to half of that to make him look a little better. But we'll leave him out to that point. That's what the print says, so we, that's what we leave it to. And it is very easy if you follow the specific uh, commands, like the press pull will allows you to give you the solids. So I'll go press pull. You can select any bounded area. You can give it a dimension. And then you go again, press pull, and you can extract the 3D geometry from a 2D geometry. So it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. And this is how the modeling is. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you use the press pull tool to do your modeling of this axle support. Thank you very much and we'll see you on the next video.